Good morning. It's Monday morning, and you're watching me, so you know what it's time for. It's the Monday morning cup of coffee. Let's have a sip together, shall we? Ah, this is from my Joseph Beth Booksellers Cup that I got in Lexington, Kentucky when I did a Cheese Chronicles book signing there. Uh, back in 1995, and I've had the cup ever since. There, there's something heraldic about this cup. It, you know, the marbling in it, and uh, it's just a very dignified-looking coffee cup. I don't know if I've ever featured it on the show before. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I had a great weekend with Lisa Oliver Gray. We went to Louisville and played Christopher Boone's house, which is Tim Creckle's old house, and music loves being in there. And then we went to Van Delisle's Black Dog House concert series in Chicago and had a wang dang doodle. And it's great to see Chicago. It is indeed a toddle in town. It's a bit of a bear to drive through or drive around but uh, it's still a wonderful town. Uh, I don't get their pizza. I don't like that much dough. Uh, I don't get their hot dogs, but uh, if, if that's the way they want them, you know, with a great big pickle on the side or whatever, I get, you know, that's fine. You know, you live your Chicago life. I'll live my Nashville life and everything will be fine. Uh, this coming Saturday, I will be at the Purple Onion in Central City, Kentucky, um, playing at 5 p.m. as part of a festival they have going on there. All over the Friday and Saturday, they'll have uh, the Stacy Mitch Hart Blues Band, uh, Alonzo Pennington, who's from around there, and he's great. Uh, and I'll be 5 o'clock Saturday afternoon, the 31st. And say a prayer to the writing gods, too. Uh, the 31st is the deadline for a piece I'm writing for the Oxford American, which I hope they publish after I submit it. Uh, it's a piece on um, what it's like to be a working musician in Nashville. And uh, I hope that uh, it comes off okay. I've been doing interviews um, about it. I'm about to do another one just in a second, uh, interviewing local uh working musicians and songwriters and getting their perspective on what it's like to be here. Um, and most of all, it's positive. Most people, uh, everybody loves being here. They wouldn't be here if they didn't love it, I reckon. Um, let's see, what else did I want to mention to you? Oh, coffee cups, coffee cups. Uh, maybe one of you out there can help me here. Uh, I have ordered prototypes of Monday morning cup of coffee souvenir mugs. Uh, with uh, the intro graphic on the cup and don't let the bastards get you down on the other side of the cup. And uh, for the one prototype from staples.com, it was $19.95 for printing and everything. And the mug itself was like um, $8.95, I think. Uh, Vistaprint.com with the same login interface, the exact same company, I think, it was like $5.95 for the cup, and it came out to $13.95 altogether. Uh, and uh, Costco, which I didn't like their interface at all, the cups were much cheaper, but I wasn't able to figure out how to do a cup with the logo on one side and uh, the text on the other. Um, so, if you know, granted, if you order in bulk, the prices go down, but the way I've ciphered it, um, if I order 50 cups from Staples or Vistaprint, the cost after packaging and shipping, bubble wrap, and all the things you have to do, it's the cup's going to have to go for $20 or $25 even. And nobody wants to pay that for a coffee cup. I don't want to charge you that for a coffee cup. So I have been, I've been put in touch with one company so far that uh, mass produces at a better cost, but the minimum order is 250, and I can't order 250 coffee cups at once. I don't have that overhead. So if anybody knows any way to germ the system, uh, I, I'm happy to order as many as 50 at once. I'll do that and see how quickly they move, but I want to be able to sell them at a, at a reasonable price. I, I don't want my overhead to be so big that you, you wind up paying $20 for a coffee cup, you know, after shipping and everything. 
So uh, if you have any ideas and you're watching this and your coffee's kicking in, um, let me know because I'd be very appreciative. And uh, one last word, I would like to take a moment to pay tribute to a man who is becoming a great inspiration to me. As you can see, thank you, James Taylor. You're bald, like I'm going to be in about five more years. You haven't put on a toupee. You haven't had any work done. Um, you are the anti-Bruce Jenner. You have short hair on the sides, and it's bald as a cue ball on top, and you're going out on top because you're looking like God made you, and you are my inspiration because in five or ten years, I'm going to be as bald as you, and let's see. Let's see if I remember this. This is completely improv here. Just yesterday morning, I don't know what past that. Anyway, thank you, James Taylor. I'm going to cut it off now and uh, have a good week. Don't let the bastards get you down. Purple Onion next Saturday, Central City, Kentucky, the hometown of the Everly Brothers and John Prine's parents. God bless you. Take care.